peace, peace, peace. I want to go ahead and make this video because, man, um, I got an amazing amount of support on the last video I did, and I had to make a correction on some things that I stated because I am a stand-up man. Um, now, I want to I want to make a disclaimer. This video is not talking about the personal character of Marcus from Atlanta Street Interviews. I do not know him personally. I've never hung out with him. We don't have conversations on the phone about personal topics. Right, so this video is about Marcus from Atlanta Street Interviews. Um, and the comment I made, I said, does Atlanta Street Interviews, does it, does it do more harm than good? And, you know, me being away for so long, I have not followed the stories that's on Marcus page. I have not watched his page because I've been studying. I just couldn't do both. And when I did the few videos that I saw, I formulated an opinion about his entire page off of the two, three, four videos that I had enough time to watch. And I think that's not right. That's not good journalism. You know, I do pride myself at being a semi-journalist and that's not good journalism. Um, you have to make sure that you dive deep into someone's page and story before you make a critique. And, 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 and I think I did that. So I wanna just apologize for making a broad spectrum critique off of a few videos and not diving deeper. So the question, does Atlanta Street Interview, does Marcus, from Atlanta Street Interview, does his platform do more harm than good? And I'm gonna say his platform does more good than harm. The videos that I've had to go back and watch, there's a video about a brother named Jaden who they helped get into college. $1,800 and within 24 hours, that thing we hit that goal. Yeah, How so does that make thank, you feel? Thank you guys. First off, dang, y'all move fast. I did not expect that to happen. You know, we just did the interview with Jaden. Yeah. Um, yep. You know, and we're super proud of him. Um, he did really good his first semester at college. And so, you know, uh, first and foremost, um, we're here because a viewer wanted to tighten you up with a couple things. Yep. She used to coupon, and so she wanted to drop some toiletries and some stuff off so you wouldn't have to spend money on that. Jaden, they helped him get an apartment. They raised the money. I commend that. It's beautiful. I love it. Much, much success to you, Jaden. Um, much success to you, Jaden, and your journey to being a successful man in this world. Also, the young lady who mentioned that Marcus, um, his questionings was triggering her and it caused her to relapse. I know that she ended up getting a, a new apartment. All right, so we just got done. Right, we just got done with you and your sister's interview. So this is your spot. This is nice. Yes, don't judge, no judgment. Well, there's no judgment. I mean, listen. We still need to be furnished. Let me tell you something. Is this, is this better than that tent? It's most definitely. Okay, okay. I'm just best. making sure. I'm just making sure. Wow, you got a balcony? Man, this is a huge balcony. Yeah, and I can be get it from my room and let me open it up right here. This is nice, man. Okay, and with a washing dryer, little dishwasher. We got pool view. Man, you have a whole barbecue on this balcony. And donations came in to help her. So I want to state that. Atlanta Street interviews, they do more good than harm. And this is not this is not about clickbait. The last video wasn't about clickbait and just putting out the most negative statements made about Atlanta Street interviews in a in a in a in a video so I could know that's what it came off like to some people. But I want to personally make this video to state that Atlanta Street interviews does good and initially why I was drawn to Atlanta Street interviews is when I I saw the video of um Josiah's dad he came and they were reunited I
Now, Aiden, I think I even shed a tear when I saw that video and it caused me to say, man, this brother is doing some powerful works in the community because he's highlighting the underbelly of our community, which everyone walks, walks past, everyone steps over the homeless. Everyone steps over the homeless, they walk past the homeless, and he's deciding to highlight their story because everybody has a story to tell. And, there, and, and in doing so, he's reuniting families. There's another video I got the opportunity to see where there was a father who was able to reunite with his daughter because he saw the video randomly on YouTube. <laughs> this is the third case I have of a dad, of a daughter, of a, a mom that's kind of keeping the, the kid away from the dad. So. It was really important to me. Um, how do you? Why? Well, I get it, but let's everybody support Olivia okay. because that's literally like that's her first time hugging her granddaughter. That's her first time. That's her first time. How did you first learn about her being down here? Uh, through your video, actually. Uh, <laughs> random people just started sending it to me and my wife. <laughs> it's actually your dad. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, boy. I tell you what. <laughs> she got a nice, full, thick head of hair, ain't it? Yeah, man. Mama does her hair. <laughs> so, how do you feel right now? I'm. I'm I just. I need to lay eyes on her. Oh, I'm happy, man. She's okay. You know, of course, I want home. So the work that Atlanta Street Interviews is doing, it cannot be questioned. I can't compete, or I'm not in the competition. But the, like, Atlanta Street Interview is on a whole nother level of community work when it comes to uniting Black families. When it comes to you know exposing and just showing you know this part of our society that we often overlook. Atlanta Street Interviews is doing a phenomenal job at that. Now, before everybody gets in the comment and say, he got somebody pregnant, aren't you looking at the headlines? He's sleeping with all these homeless women. This video is not about that. I don't know anything about that. And in fact, I, you know, if I don't know anything about that. And I, this video is not to say, Marcus is a good person. I don't know him personally, but I do know the work that he's putting in through his platform is doing good in the community. Now, with the girl, Monique, did she lie on him and cause a whole bunch of people to start jumping out the window? Because you see what happens if you lie on a person, she kind of got praised for it. I even made a video and was like, man, and it's, you know, Originally, I made a video stating that I don't know if it's true, but if it is true, and da da da, I kind of jumped out the window. But now I'm hearing, and the person in my comment section, I don't think they were lot of that she said I, I made passes at her. Now, if Monique will say that I made passes at her, I recorded everything. If she can say that I made passes at her, and, and I was, or somebody would say, this is trivia. Why are you even thinking about that? No, this is a bigger story. Emmett Till was murdered because someone lied and said that he made a pass at her. Even though it was racially based, we're still talking about a woman said a young boy made a pass. But we're, we're not going to go there. Let's just keep it simple. If Monique is saying in any inclination that I made passes at her, I wanted her, that I tried to holler at her, it makes me think, did she lie about Marcus and the whole story? Was it a one big lie? Is it because she didn't get what she wants? Because when she don't get what she wants, she'll start to lie on you? Because clearly, it, if, if what the... If what the person said in my comment section is true, she lied. She lied. I didn't give her what she wanted. She wanted me to bring her to in my home and to allow her to sleep in my home. It don't work like that. She wanted more. Okay, let's not get distracted. Let's talk about all these other stories of women coming out. I slept with Mark. I did. 
Now, if you see that the world rewarded Monique when she went at Marcus, even me, technically, like I'm not innocent from this. If the world, the world rewarded Monique when she, did she lie on Marcus? The, from my perspective, if, if, if it's true that Monique said that I hollered at her and I wanted her, my perspective is she lied because she lied on me. So now you're a proven liar. And I damn near will owe Marcus an apology because I'm like, damn, I kind of jumped out the window. And even though I didn't say she was telling the truth, I still made it to where it was an unknown to where it was it was ambiguous. It was like, I don't know if she's telling the truth or she's lying, but I'm going to still help her. You no, know, so I just want to say that if, and I don't want to even say if because the, the supporter of mine who put it in the comment section, she already told me she is going to try to find the video where Monique said that I made a pass at her and I wanted her. If that's true, oh, she lied on Marcus. And if she lied on Marcus, and what, what, how was she rewarded? I, I reached out to help her. More people, it, it, it pulled on everyone's heartstrings. They were offering sympathy and empathy for her and trying to pour into her. It, it allowed her to make, to progress, it appears, right? Other women are going to do the same thing. It's called the copycat. They're going to say it worked for her. This is how you can get on. If you don't get what you want from a person, you can lie and say he slept with me. And then the world is going to eat it up, eat it up. And ultimately, ultimately, it's just a lie is able to live and breathe and thrive in, in, in a world where there's no accountability. OK, somebody said, why didn't you tell the world that Monique was scamming? That's wrong of you. First of all, I never. First of all, I don't know if she's scamming. I only can go off of my personal experiences. In my experience, I made a video a year ago. I said, why I'm not helping Monique? That video was done a year ago. She's ungrateful. The way the help I was given, she didn't want, it's all recorded. You can see how she was talking. I don't gotta make, I don't gotta tell it to you. You just watch the video. Okay, so I, I don't gotta sit here and tell you not to donate to somebody. To me, that's a little lame. I'm not cut from that cloth. I'm not going to tell no man or woman not to donate to a woman who's homeless. I don't operate like that. I mean, I'm not going to tell you to donate to her. I never promoted her and said we need to get donations for her. But I'm not going to tell you not to because she's homeless. She's panhandling on the corner at the light. I'm not. Well, basically, she's doing it digitally. I'm not going to tell you not to donate to her. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm a grown man. That's a young woman, that's a girl. I mean, not a girl, that's a woman. I'm not gonna tell you, don't donate to her. I'm sorry, you can't come out my mouth. Stop donating to her. That, I, I'm good, I'm good. And if, if you feel like I'm wrong for that because I should have told the world she's scamming. Well, I'm not saying she's scamming. She's addicted to digital panhandling. So, okay. Now. I'm jumping all over the place because I had to make this video right now because I don't want too many days to pass by. And I'm a, I'm a stand-up man, and it was, it was somebody, I'm not even going to say no names, somebody said, oh, I thought you was a stand-up man, and you, you're you not going to do videos just for clickbait, and, you know, I help more people than you. And I'm like, listen, like, like this isn't a competition. I'm not, in, I'm not competing with anyone on helping more people. I only want to help. I don't have, if you have a bigger platform, then by default, you're going to be able to reach more people. And by default, you can help more people. I love it. I'm not hating on that. If your platform is actually helping people, this video is to let the world know that I, I, I was wrong. I was wrong. I said in my last video, it appears that nobody is progressing. I was dead wrong. And I apologize to whoever took that. I apologize to the misperception because I understand people will eat that up. And no, his platform is doing more good and people are progressing. And I've, I've been able to witness it and see it firsthand now. I don't got time to sit there and watch every video on the page, but now that it's been brought to my attention, somebody even left it in my comment section. Like, Jaden... Um, is in school now and and he got he reached his donation goal. 
I didn't even know there was a donation being ran for Jaden and he was getting an apartment because I've been tunnel vision. No excuses. Because if you're going to get into this journalism game, you have to be a responsible, a responsible journalist. There's no excuses. I can't say because I didn't know and I put this statement out. No, I put the statement out. I got to stand on it. And me standing on it is, you know, what do you call it when you redact? This is like my redaction. If I could redact, you know, so I just want to make it clear on my feelings towards Atlanta Street interview and the purpose they serve in the community and do they do they do good or harm and it's clear, it's evident. Me saying they do good is not going to change the evidence or me saying they could do bad is not going to change the evidence that Atlanta Street interviews, it the platform does good. Now, don't ask me anything personally about Marcus. This video, I gotta put that disclaimer, it's not anything personally about Marcus because I do not know him personally. I do not know. When I say personally, we don't kick it. We don't go out to have a couple a couple drinks. And we don't do any of that. I just want to make this video. I want to make it clear. I made some statements in my last video that I have to, as a man, come back and say, listen, I, I took a, a few clips. You know, the girl stating that she was triggered. I took Josiah's story. I took, I didn't even highlight Jaden's story. So it looked like I cherry picked all the negative stories that was being thrown at Marcus. But inside of the video, I did say at least he has helped some families, but I need to emphasize that. And I can't lead with the negative and just throw out one positive because what's going to permit, what's going to be the thing that resonates with everyone is the negative, which is his platform. No one progresses. Everyone's in the same spot. And that's clearly not true. Not because I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to, oh, I'm trying to suck up. I'm trying to be cool. No, I'm trying to talk facts. The facts remain. People are being helped. Families are contacting their loved ones. And his platform is reaching thousands upon thousands. And when you go on his platform, you get exposure. And it leads it leads to positive things. Now, all the negative things that have come about his platform, the only one that I personally know of is the one with Monique. And now that's questionable. Why is it questionable? Because I heard, I didn't know it until today, until I put the video out. Somebody said, you know Monique said you made a pass. What? Whoa, 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 what? So with that being said, I apologize for misrepresenting or for putting something out into the world that was kind of one-sided. And that's what I'm against. This isn't a clickbait channel. This isn't a cherry pick the negative channel and only highlight the negative. This is a channel of positivity. Now this is with the platform. We have to learn how to separate the platform from the man. Now who's the man? The man is Marcus. I'm not saying that Marcus the man is a great person. I don't know. I don't know. Evil people do great things all the time. They're, look at the church. We're going to use the church as an example. I'm a very, very spiritual person. I believe the church is a very, very powerful tool for self-empowerment. The church, right? I believe the church is one of the most powerful tools for self-discipline, self-empowerment, to, to grow yourself spiritually. But there are some effed up preachers, right? That you can see the story. They're preachers who are touching the, you know what? They're preachers who steal from the congregation, who lie. But does that mean the church is not doing good, good things? No. The church is doing good things, but the preacher. Now, I'm not comparing Marcus to a pastor or preacher or, or priest that's doing those things. That is a simply what we call an analogy for anybody that's sitting way in the back of the bus. That's an analogy. Okay? I'm separating the two. Don't say, I'm, oh, you support Marcus? He slept with a homeless person. Marcus definitely, I don't, listen, I don't know. I'll do some more research. I only got 24 hours in a day. I can't spend the whole day researching. And me being a journalist, <laughs> I know I need to do my research. So it's important. But he slept with a homeless person, got her pregnant, made her hide in the closet. And Marcus can't be a good person. Okay, okay. If, if he did all that, you're right. If Marcus did all that, he is not a good person. But is Atlanta Street Interviews a good platform? 
that can actually help the homeless? Yes. And I'm not gonna go round and round and talk about the same thing on this video. This video is gonna be um, just about that. So hopefully, if Marcus see this video, I hope you do. Pretty sure you will. Um, Y'all, you know, just let them know, man. Like Atlanta Street Interview does more good than harm. And if Monique, Monique, it if she, which I kind of feel like she did because people don't got no real reason to lie. I don't got subscribers like that. Like the person who even put it in my comments said, she said, I'm gonna look for the live, but she deleted a lot of her lives. If, which I feel like she did, said that I made a pass at her, then I have to say she lied on Marcus. It didn't happen. I have to say that with a straight face, she lied on that man. It did not happen like that. And that's what I have to say because once a proven liar, everything you say has to be discredited now. I'm sorry, I can't, I cannot, I can't play them type of games. I mean, I wouldn't be a real man if I allowed, allow myself to, you know, be suckered into, into some stuff that's like, come on, man. Y'all stay blessed. I appreciate everybody who did support. I appreciate everybody who watched the last video. The positive comments, negative comments, more positive than negative. And that's what's up. I'm not here to tear down nobody, man. Y'all gotta remember this. I'm not here to tear down any black, white, any positive being. I'm not here to tear you down. I don't care if you Spanish, if you white, if you black. I'm not here to tear you down. But if you're negative and if you're evil, you might catch some some of the strays. You might get hit by some stuff because I don't believe in any of that. Double salute. We out. Let's get back to work.